this guy's garage. Like and subscribe. Mr. Speaker, it was the personal responsibility of the Prime Minister to invite President Zelensky to the floor of this House of Commons. It was his personal responsibility to make sure it was a diplomatic success. It was his personal responsibility to continue to lead the government that has the security, intelligence, and diplomatic agencies that could have and should have vetted all individuals who were present and recognized. That's right. Yet, this Prime Minister allowed for a monumental, unprecedented, and global shame to unfold in this chamber. Will he take personal responsibility for this shame and personally apologize on behalf of himself? Right. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of all of us in this House, I would like to present unreserved apologies for what took place on Friday and to President Zelensky and the Ukrainian delegation for the position they were put in. For all of us who were present to have unknowingly recognized this individual was a terrible mistake and a violation of the memory of those who suffered grievously at the hands of the Nazi regime. <clears throat> The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Did the Prime Minister's national security, intelligence, or diplomatic officials vet the names of the people that the Prime Minister allowed within mere feet of President Zelensky? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the privilege and responsibilities and rights of parliamentarians are sacrosanct and that the Leader of the Opposition would be suggesting that any visitor to this House should be vetted by the government of the day is actually a grievous attack on the rights and privileges of parliamentarians. However, if the Leader of the Opposition or the Speaker or anyone wants our intelligence agencies to vet any of their guests, we would be more, more than happy to do that in respect of parliamentary rights. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. So the Prime Minister has just said that he allowed the President of a war-torn country, who is perhaps the biggest target of false propaganda and of potential assassinations, to be surrounded by hundreds of people who had not been vetted for their security background, their potential risks that they present, or in this case, the massive diplomatic disasters that they could have brought to that event. Is he really saying that he did absolutely nothing to protect the Ukrainian president from all of those many risks? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The facts are well known here. The Speaker issued the invitation, delivered the recognition, and has taken full responsibility. The Leader of the Opposition knows that not one parliamentarian was aware. But the truth does not matter to this Leader of the Opposition. He distor distorts, misleads, aims to confuse, all for partisan gain. It's all he knows how to do. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, again, he deflects blame and responsibility for his personal failings. It is the duty of the Prime Minister to protect our diplomatic reputation. It was therefore his duty to ensure that his diplomatic, intelligence, and security forces ensure there was no one who could potentially present a danger either to the reputation or to the physical safety of the people present at such a massive international event. Right. But today, he said he did none of those things, and instead, after he found out about it, he hid in his cottage for three days. Is that what it means to take responsibility for this Prime Minister? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, we all know how many years the Leader of the Opposition has served in this House, and we can surely remember all the times he has stood up to defend the honour, the rights, the privileges of parliamentarians. And yet now, in order to make 
partisan attacks, he is proposing that the government of the day have the ability to vet and oversee the rights of parliamentarians and indeed of the Speaker to include people in this House, to invite them into this House. I know that the Leader of the Opposition used to have more respect for Parliament than that, but he's busy making a partisan attack. Speaker, the Prime Minister has never been shy to use the Nazi label against his opponents, mm -hmm. against Canadians. Right. But not being able to bring himself to take responsibility for an actual Nazi is something that Canadians will not forget. That's right. The Prime Minister could have prevented this. He should have prevented it. And he needs to fix it. The world knows that under this Prime Minister, a Nazi was honoured in this place. The question is, is who speaks for Canada? And if it's not this Prime Minister, isn't it time for Canadians to have one who will? Yeah. Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. I think indeed. Canadians and the world are watching very carefully uh, what has happened this week and the terrible error that happened on Friday. But I think they are also interested in seeing who's trying to make partisan hay out of this. Who's trying to look for gains out of what was obviously a terrible, terrible mistake. Mr. Speaker, it is important that we learn from this and stand even stronger with Ukraine going forward, that we counter Russian propaganda. But Mr. Speaker, 